It's a great pleasure to welcome Charles Yang, the Director of Marketing and Solution at ZTE. Uh, firstly, nice to see you, Charles. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, Aki. Thanks for having me here. I'm Charles Yang from ZTE, and I'm the Director for Marketing and Technic Solution. And uh, greeting to everyone. Thanks. Listen, I'm looking forward to our chat because... I cannot believe what you guys achieved, and uh, what a remarkable achievement. Um, and th I'm talking about Mossel Bay 5G Ultra Range Maritime Coverage Project. Now, I know this is a, a big word that I've just used, but that was an incredible achievement that you guys did in the Mossel Bay. Can you tell us what does this entail, and, 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 uh, and did you achieve your goals? Because I've been hearing a lot about this, and we're going to unpack this. But uh, what was involved, and did you achieve it? Yeah, yeah, it's very uh, excited and also it's very, uh, very nice uh, journey uh, with uh, for ZTE and the corporate with MTN together for bringing the five G ultra range maritime coverage in the Bosal Bay. Uh, actually, for this project, uh, we use some of the advanced technology on the five G AAU and the, some of the five G radio configuration, spatial format, and uh, use our uh, ZTE the 5G outdoor CPE, uh, and also the internet, and with uh, MTN, the fantastic infrastructure for the telecom that we achieved, like uh, the final results is uh, at the 22 kilometer, we can achieve the downlink at 210 megabits per second. Uh, it's a very, uh, very good result, and uh, all of us are very happy because uh, for the 5G maritime coverage, it's not only uh, benefits for the people, for the travelers who uh, have activity on the sea can ac access to the internet, but also can benefit for the fishing and also the sea life protection and also even for rescue uh, for some emergency like that. Yeah. Well, so I mean, we, that's we astonishing. We are quite very happy with the result that we got. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure you must be. I mean, I just think here about what you just mentioned now, 22 kilometers out at sea, uh, achieving those kind of speeds. Take us back a little bit. What motivated ZTE and MTN to run this project? Yeah, actually, uh, ZTE as the leading uh, 5G telecom company equipment, uh, we always share globally our innovation uh, research and uh, the studies and our experience bring the global experience to local market. Like in Africa, we think, is especially for South Africa, we believe that the ocean economy is also the future, the engine of the society uh, economy. So we uh, discussed with MTN together because MTN is uh, one of the best uh, mobile operator in Africa and always uh, gives the uh, some the leading solution, leading technology to benefit uh, people. So we have the uh, engagement together and uh, decided to choose this topic and deploy it in Mosel Bay in South Africa to see what we can transmit the technology to the real uh, benefits for the economic. Amazing, amazing. Now, th this project is a venture between uh, ZTE, as you mentioned, and MTN. Um, and, and of course, ZTE has got incredible technologies that you guys have deployed and MTN being one of the continent's leading uh, provider of 5G. What did each party bring to the table to achieve this incredible feast? And let me just say this again. 5G <laughs> signal, yeah. 22 kilometers out to sea. I mean, I'm just thinking <laughs> about that and it blows my mind. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to achieve this amazing result, uh, actually, for each party, and we contribute a lot. For ZTE, we, as an equipment vendor, uh, we provide, for, in this case, we provide a very advanced uh, the devices, equipment, like the AAU and the antennas. And we also use some of the enhanced, uh, network enhanced technology to make sure to guarantee the stability and the coverage on the sea. And also, it's uh, supported by the uh, re uh, research and the development uh, capability that uh, ZTE as a global company. Uh, we do have a many research center in China and overseas. Then the expert team can support us all the time to solve the problem that we face, the, the challenge in South Africa. 
and also like the uh, massive MIMO and also the 5G advanced technology was used in this project. And uh, for our partner M uh, MTN, uh, they are the leading operator uh, in South Africa and they provide the, the best infrastructure service uh, in the cost that we choose the site. And they have a very strong the capability to integrate the resource that we lead. And also for the local resource and the testing experience, our technical team and the MTN technical team have many meetings, many discussions together uh, for how to optimize our the coverage on the sea because it's quite a special scenario. It's not on the land network. And the MTN do have a very nice insight for the market uh, uh, demands. They know uh, what uh, the scenario, what is the real, uh, makes sense for the technology to bring hmm, some of the revenue or the economic benefits uh, in this country. So uh, that's what we do, cooperate together. And yes, of course, the cooperation is the most important thing for two parties to bring this uh, fantastic work uh, out there. Yeah. So uh, I'm interested, uh, 22 kilometers is what you said earlier. Why 22 yeah. kilometers? Where did this number come from? Is it something that you just decided on? Where does the 22 kilometers come from? Yeah, yeah. It's very, very uh, last nice question and also very interesting. Uh, actually, for the tech, from the technology, technical part of you, then to, for the 5G, the coverage defined by 3GPP, uh, then we can achieve as the maximum is uh, 60 kilometer. It's not uh, only in 22. Uh, but uh, in South Africa, if you're beyond the 22 kilometer, it's already the international sea area. So then we cannot cross the broad of the international sea. Uh, so that's why we just uh, do our testing and uh, released our the result in 22 uh, kilometer. Okay. And we did, uh, like, uh, yeah, along the coast, uh, we do the testing uh, in other sites uh, already in South Africa. We achieved at the 30, uh, 30 kilometer, uh, with the downlink is like uh, 160 is also very nice result. But uh, even for, as I just mentioned, if we technically we achieved at the 60 kilometer, maybe the downlink speed is only for a two or five megabits per second. So okay. that depends. But uh, we are happy. Yeah. We're happy to see that at the 22 kilometer, we can achieve like, uh, more than 200 megabytes per second that we can support more users and with uh, uh, the faster the speed speed for the internet service. Okay, now that's uh, that's amazing. So th this is a first for South Africa, and this project must have involved significant challenges because you know 22 kilometers doesn't sound like a long distance, but when it's out at sea, uh, you you can't see 22 kilometers away. I mean that's uh, really far. And you must have had some significant challenges. What was the unique challenge that you faced in achieving this impressive 22-kilometer coverage out to sea uh, compared to on land, let's say, for example? Yes, yes. It's uh, Yes, since, since the 22 kilometers is not that far on the land, but actually every time we do the testing, we need to sail in for five to six hours on the sea. So that's a big challenge for the team to do the testing and the optimization. And also at the beginning for the project, uh, we needed to uh, discuss where is the site location, how to choose the site, uh, uh, how's the height of the antennas. And also from the optimization, uh, we needed to uh, do the beforming and also the 5G radio configuration adjustment. And uh, also uh, it's important to not only for transmit, Give the radio, but also for CPE, for the reserver, also did uh, get a very good performance. This time we choose our ZTE CPE, which is also used for the 5G advanced millimeter wave testing for the outdoor on the sea that is uh, installed, uh, installed on the boat uh, with the uh, uh, boat owner that we tested together. And they do feel the good speed and uh, very happy to see it's a 5G network on the sea. Yeah. Amazing stuff. Look, I mean, 5G is coverage has been traditionally limited by its range. Uh, 
Uh, it's not like other, you know, you know, communication technologies, but 5G has got its limitations. How did this deployment uh, overcome those typical range limitations? Because 5G, I think, is, you know, five kilometers or around about there. Uh, you got to 22 kilometers. Are there specific technologies that ZTE developed or refined for this purpose? Hmm, yeah. Yes, a very uh, last question is from the technical uh, part. And, uh, you know, on land, maybe we have some buildings, some trees that we uh, inf- impact uh, on the uh, distance that we can achieve by the 5G. But uh, actually on the sea is a quite ideal scenario that for the radio to uh, drive as long as possible. And also, of course, so for 5G is limited by the, uh, by the distance. But uh, uh, most of that is because you use a, a mid-band or higher the spectrum, like the 3.5G or uh, 2600 megahertz. Uh, but this time, we actually, based on the uh, NSA uh, ar- architecture, so we anchored at the MTN 800 and the 900 megahertz as our ah. uh, LTE anchor. And to achieve our 5G, uh, give the experience service at the 3.5 and the 2.6G. And uh, besides then, I uh, just mentioned uh, ZTE, we provide many advanced uh, the radio configuration uh, and the research that we uh, test here. You uh, use the PRACH, the physical random access channel uh, format, and also to, to, to use a different format, and also the NCA cycling and ca- from, uh, for the configuration to optimize it to the distance, and also the height of our site and the high transmission power uh, from our AAU, as well as uh, the antennas use some lens to boosting uh, the trans- uh, the transmit distance for the 5G on the sea. Okay. Now, this is Mossel Bay we're talking about, and there's lots of maritime activity in that area. Are there plans to extend this kind of offshore 5G coverage to other coastal regions in South Africa? I'm thinking... Durban, for example, Cape Town, uh, you know, all those big ports, Port Elizabeth, uh, is there plans to to extend this to other parts of the country? Yes, yes, of course. There are many places, actually, uh, we already discussed with Tim together to consider about it. It's a very uh, valuable place to deploy 5G. Uh, we already done the trials in Bosal Bay and also Hermnus. Both of them are the uh, traveling distillation. There are many tourists uh, for the winter time. We do the, we do a try in the winter time for the whale watching. And also, uh, right now, the uh, we, uh, West Coast government uh, in uh, West Cap, they are quite interested in uh, for this project. Uh, then we will maybe bring this technology be there soon. And uh, of course, we will explore and the more potential cooperation with uh, like a fishing association and uh, the ports company uh, for the West Cap area. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Now, ZTE and I've, you know, been doing lots of work with you guys over the last few years. You, you, you really have been at the forefront of innovative 5G solutions. How does this maritime project fit into ZTE's long-term vision for 5G in Africa? Because we really are seeing an aggressive, aggressive expansion of 5G across the continent. Yes, yes, of course. Yeah, the 5G is not only in the connectivity for, for a better life than to AOT already achieved event. 5G changes a lot of the way for the society, for the industry, for the well cause, how to work, how to benefit from the AI and automation technologies. It's not only in the connection. So that you would like to bring more the uh, new innovative solution and technology to help the local industry uh, with uh, real economic effects. So the maritime project is just a good start and a good uh, practice here. Then to uh, it indeed to help the uh, local people and the local uh, verticals uh, to help them business. And it's a good proof then to we can do more. We are here in Africa and uh, we are here for Africa to bring more oh, 5G fantastic. for long term. Yeah. yeah. No, listen, uh, Charles, it's, a, it's amazing what you guys have done. Uh, wh- what's, been, what's been the response so far uh, to the network in the Mossel Bay region been? 
Uh, yes, yes. Uh, the both company and the tourism agents are very happy and satisfied with MTN 5G service on the sea because we'll be there many times for testing and also have many uh, talks with uh, the, the local people. For both owners, they have uh, could have a more safe selling and with a real-time communication. Previously, they just used the radio uh, for communication, but now they can use the phone for the video call. And also for uh, tourists uh, where uh, be there, uh, they are surprised uh, by the 5G internet connect uh, when they have the trip on the sea. And uh, many of them already start to share the Instagram or the uh, short video on the social media with the wow. live streaming like that. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, I, I believe the local people are very happy uh, with that, especially for uh, the uh, people who do have the work or have the business on the sea. No, look, it's it's a, it's it's game changing. We know connectivity, what it does to economies, and the fact that you're able to communicate 22 kilometers out at sea, uh, off the 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 coast of uh, Mossel Bay, is a, quite an extraordinary feat. And to achieve those kind of speeds at 5G, uh, congratulations to you and your team at ZTE and the team at MTN for achieving this incredible result. And I'm looking forward to hearing more stories of this rollout across other coastal regions uh, along the coast of South Africa and the rest of the continent as well. I think it's amazing what you guys have achieved. Charles Yang, Director of Marketing and Solutions at ZTE. Thank you so much for your time, Charles. And once again, congratulations to you and your team. Thank you, Aki. Thanks for having me here. Thank you.